Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Go ahead, Walt. Hit us. The last question, well, it's, it's almost an hour, but we'll... We, we, yeah. We, we'll, when, we'll, you're not, when you're not on the crusade for Second Amendment rights and all that stuff, <laughs> what do you do for fun? Yeah, good, good. What do I do for fun? Um, or relaxation, relaxation. It's probably because I know, sound... I know, I know. This can get be a very, uh, you know, it can be stressful sometimes. You know. Oh, <laughs> it drives it drives my wife nuts. Uh, the stress of it. Um, I, this may sound cliche, but but time with family is how I unwind and de-stress. I mean, I don't know if you know if y'all know this about me, but um, <laughs> my well. First, I should say my wife and I, we've been happily married for over 30 years, but together Congratulations. we've had 10, 10 children. Wow. So, so, yeah, some people might say, Eric, you're crazy because that introduces stress into your life. And <laughs> yeah, I guess there's, there's, there's something to be said about that. Anybody who's had kids knows that, you know, sometimes there's, you know, yeah, yeah, there's yeah stress. I've got two and I, I can tell you that's where all my gray hair is coming from. <laughs> <laughs> My wife swears by the same that that's how she got uh, her her gray hair. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, I would say this: we're uh, we're a Joshua twenty four fifteen family. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. So I mean, we do a lot together. We we worship together. Uh, you know, we eat together, serve together, and and we play together. And that's been you know just for me one of the things that I, I absolutely love. You know, I coached my kids little league teams, uh, baseball. Um, you know, big baseball fan. Um, uh, I taught their citizenship classes when they were doing the merit badges with the Boy Scouts. Uh, when the kids got older into their teens and uh, into their 20s, we played on the same church softball team or county softball team. So sports are actually a really big thing in the Pratt household. Um, in fact, when you have a big family like ours, you, you know, it, it's hard for mom and dad to get away. And so like our date night, is every morning, a lot of times when it's still dark, you know, we, we go to the gym every morning and, and we work out. Uh, so, uh, you know, sports cool. are big. I'm, I, I'm a bit of a workout aholic. I can also be a workaholic sometimes, but the, the, uh, if I go more than a day without working out, I, I get kind of antsy and, and that just helps you know, reduce a lot of stress too. So anyway, it's, uh, it's fun, uh, it's, it's busy. Uh, you know, the, the, the Pratt household is almost like another job in and of itself, uh, but, but we love doing it. Yeah, your kids are the most valuable um, things yes. that you have around you. I don't believe that we own each other, but, you know, we are responsible for each other. And um, our, our kids, to me, are just the most valuable thing. Alan Powell has this to say. He says, needless to say, it was a busy 30 years. Laugh out loud. He says <laughs> he couldn't resist. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I got you, Alan. I, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Um, are you are you related to Chris Pratt? By the way, that thought just popped in my head. You know, uh, I'm just curious. Uh, yeah, we we every time he puts out a movie, we ask <laughs> ourselves that because yeah. uh, you know we want to know if we're in the will. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, that's that's the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you can't you can't claim ownership going to the movie theater. <laughs> no, sadly no. <laughs> okay, I, I had to I had to ask that one, and I know we're at eight o'clock, but if I could just squeeze in one more one more question for you. Sure. Um, with uh, with some of the crazy anti-gun bills that are being put forward right now in Congress that are so ridiculous, right? When we read through these bills here on air, um, I mean it's it's ridiculous and laughable. <laughs> Should we be taking them seriously or not? Like, I'm not saying we're not taking it seriously, but there's some folks out there, it's so crazy and ridiculous that they're thinking, yeah, there's, there's no way this there's can no be. There's no way. There's no yeah. way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's like a sleeping bear. I mean, you, mm -hmm. know, you don't want to say, you know, oh, that's no threat. Mm -hmm. uh, I, you, you don't want to say these things aren't a threat. Mm -hmm. However, we talked earlier about the filibuster. The filibuster will ensure that all those end of the world bills, as long as the filibuster is there, they're, I, I think I can safely say, 
they're not going to become law. Like Sheila Jackson Lee has some terrible bills. You know what? She's been in Congress since 1995. She's never gotten one of her bills uh, <laughs> passed into law. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and there have been times when there was total party control mm -hmm. and she still hasn't succeeded in that. Um, so I, I think we're cautiously optimistic that a lot of these bills, even though they're terrible and it shows you the direction they want to go for our rights. So I, I take them seriously at that. I, I don't think we face the danger in the short term because we we still have the elements, the you know, the dam is still intact. Mm -hmm. uh, the filibuster dam is still intact, and it's keeping these things at bay. Yeah, um, I, I, I think. What, what do you think, Walt? Do you agree with that? Oh, uh, yeah. I don't, don't dis, don't, don't laugh at a lot of that stuff mm -hmm. because there are Republicans who say, well, I kind of agree with some of that. Yeah. You hear these people go, well, why is that so bad? Yeah. Why, why, what's wrong with more yeah. making it harder to buy a gun? Well, and even though but she's never I've gotten heard anything that from gun in, owners. yeah, I've heard that from new gun owners say, "Well, what's wrong with making it harder to buy a gun?" Yeah, it's like uh, you're gonna go, go see a psychiatrist to go buy a gun. I mean, well, that's like... what happened in 2013 when there were Senate Republicans who were saying, "Ah, oh, universal background checks doesn't sound so bad," and we unloaded a ton of political pressure on them, and that changed their minds real quick. Well, all except for uh, obviously Toomey who was the guy that, that was pushing it. Mm -hmm. uh, but others just started, re and so if, if Republican senators or representatives start doing that, they're gonna be hearing from their constituents, uh, and, thanks to GOA. And, and the people it really hurts with that stuff is not the people who can, uh, that are, it hurts the, the poor folk, technically, Yeah. because the poor folk are gonna have to the wrangle their way through this stuff and right. figure it all out and most of them don't I, I or say it, probably wouldn't be aware of it until they're getting arrested and doing well, that, a lot of yeah, time and too. losing yes, their that's, rights that's yeah very, that's yeah that's yeah. you know it's like i needed to have a permit to carry a gun really yeah you know it's like uh yeah you do i mean mm -hmm. you know I'm, go back and look at what happened in places like new york uh with with the crack epi epidemic of the uh late 80s and 90s etc the you know people where people were going to jail for having a vial of crack I mean, now for something that's literally protected in the Second Amendment, they're trying to uh, attach those same uh, prison terms, you know, and ridiculous Mandatory fines. minimums. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's very dangerous. Okay, one more thing, if I could squeeze this in. John Doe says, I wish more firearm websites would have the option to donate to GOA. Um, some, some other stuff, but, but you know... Is there something we could do to help out with that? Could we somehow? Uh, is there a is there like a pre-made kind of link you can link on a on a on a website that'll take it to the, or you know I, I don't know I'm just absolutely. In fact, uh, Hank, I'm sorry. I, I thought we already had well, there, that. There's one. There's one for me. There's one in my okay. in my site. I think what he's talking about here is that he wishes more more other firearms companies when folks are going there and buying stuff from them. There was that option. So what I'm saying is, is there a way that we can help maybe encourage more companies or what, what can we do to help you guys? Because I know that's a tough fight, right, to, to actually get folks talking to the companies. Yeah, actually, and actually we are working with industry folks and that's mm -hmm. a great idea. But it probably uh, if um, and I'm sorry, I forget, I forget the viewer's well, name, but if, mm -hmm. he, if John he would Doe. like this, John, OK, oh, John, Doe. if he'd yeah. like to see that, uh, maybe start asking uh mm -hmm. the the industry companies uh because if you know if that's what the constituents are asking for uh then they'll they'll make that happen yes and by the way lola is putting up our link uh which is uh you can it's for 20 bucks you can get a membership to goa and and lola's putting it up there uh, by the way lola and i are lifetime uh members of the goa you know, thank you, Hank. Yeah, I, I really appreciate it. Thank yes. you, Lola. Yeah, I really especially appreciate it that you guys are putting most of the money towards fighting for this stuff. So my membership card, I could basically draw in whatever I want to. So don't, you know, I mean, I'm going to get creative with that <laughs> when, <laughs> when that time comes. But you guys can find that link in the description. Uh, Lola just threw it up. I'll put it up there on the screen for anyone who wants to see it. Uh, I don't want to hold Eric here too long. I know he's got things to do. Um, thanks so much for coming on, Eric. Um, what, 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 what final words would you like to leave our audience with here before you go? Oh, man. Um, well, let me just say uh, to you again, Hank, I'm just very grateful uh, that you're doing this. I know this is, uh, I mean, you're only doing two hours a day, but 
uh, that's a lot of work, uh, what you're doing and the prep time. And so you're, you're keeping us informed. Um, and so anyway, we're very grateful to you. Thank you for helping uh, drive membership because that's what keeps us on the front lines. And, and I should mention, you know, that $20 that, uh, that, that you're doing there, I mean, that, that's a discounted membership. And yet people will get, you know, full membership benefits for the year mm -hmm. uh, through that. So, yeah, uh, you know, there's there's no second class uh, members here. <laughs> Absolutely. Sign up and, and do what you can do. Um, I, thank you so much for saying that. I really do appreciate you guys. Uh, there's lots of folks that you have working over there very hard. John Crump's here all the time. Uh, we have we had Luis Valdez come on recently here in Florida. I would like to see uh, more states uh, get involved. I know that's more of a process than what I'm saying. Sure. Uh, Jordan Stein is amazing. I, I wish I could clone him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do too. <laughs> yeah, he's an amazing, amazing person. Um, and I look forward to see what he does in the future. He's a great kid. Uh, you know, you guys should be very proud of him and John and, uh, you know, all the other folks out there. Uh, Antonio Okafor has been on here as yes. well. So just a big shout out to everyone at GOA. And thanks so much, Eric, for coming on. I really appreciate you doing Absolutely. this. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hope to see you here again. Walt, you want to say right. anything Absolutely. before we get out? I'm sorry. Go ahead, Eric. Yeah, yeah. Just keep up the good fight, you know. I mean, thank you, and sir. I'd like to say something about these frivolous, you think frivolous bills, just don't get, don't think they are because mm -hmm. if they pick them apart and attach those ideas on the other things, it's not so frivolous. So, right. Yeah. Oh, you're absolutely right. And and we're going to be watching that. And I, you know, I just want to encourage folks because I, I know it can be um, disheartening at times when you just see everything that's happening. Uh, but we, we've got a strategy. We, we've been in, in situations like this before. And so we are cautiously op optimistic mm -hmm. uh, that we're going to be able to get a lot of victories here. Pr probably not victories on offense, uh, but be able to stop a lot of these things. And so anyway, bear with us. You know, it, uh, that, that's why, you know, just crucial sign up, you know, at gunowners.org. Go get our email list is free you know sign up for our free emails because that's how we're going to put the heat on these guys absolutely let us know what we can do eric to help out with the fight uh, you know i'm, sh I'm sure there's Promise always more to do that. all right absolutely thank you very much appreciate Thanks, it Hank. thank you walter take care guys. you're welcome you're welcome make sure to check out hankstrange.com you can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts